Hey everybody, it is Tara here from the Road to Nowhere. I hope you're having a great day. The sun's over there, let me change my view. Um, so it's Tuesday. Still got a day off today. Now the sun's in my eyes. <laughs> I'm trying to get everything ready for my trip home next week and between making sure my COVID tests into America are sorted and then the one I have to have back when I come back to England is sorted and my vaccination passes and my passport and my tickets and my layovers and my seat assignment and all oh my gosh <laughs> I've not been anywhere since 2019 before everything happened um, my best friend and I were supposed to go to California in May 2020 which obviously didn't happen um, and then I've not even been home to Alabama since be five years five years this month um, and it's really thrown me a bit because the last time I was home home um, well the last time I was home home was when my my dad passed away um, and since then our family homes had been sold my brother's moved on with his life bless him and that leaves me in sort of a <laughs> where do I stay <laughs> because I normally stay at my parents house um, but luckily a friend of mine uh, a couple of friends have offered me a bed or a couch to help me you know, keep my budget low rather than a hotel which is nice um, but it's still a bit strange because I'm going to know I'm, if I go in autopilot I'm just naturally going to drive to my dad's house and there'll be some strangers living there <laughs> and I feel like it might be a bit like that um Miranda Lambert's on the house that built me. It's like, I'm not going to the door. Excuse me. Can I just come in for a minute? That's actually my handprint on the driveway. <laughs> my house. <laughs> so. But I thought I'd take a little breather out of the house. Getting things ready. I'm trying to do my U.S. taxes. Because yes, even though I don't live in America. I still have to file my taxes for Uncle Sam. Just to say, I haven't earned anything from America. <laughs> um. And I barely earn anything here. So, uh, between that and the upstairs having some work done, so it's been very noisy, it's been triggering my uh, misophonia a bit. And while it's nice and sunny, it's actually not too cold today either. It's actually quite nice. But I'll just come out here to Cedars Park and have a little stroll, get some fresh air. Um, do a quick, quick video for you guys. And, uh, I always smell pot. I don't know why you can always smell. It's very a fragrant smell in this town. You can always smell it coming from somewhere. Uh, this is a nice little part. It's beautiful in the springtime. It's not too bad now, actually. People are out riding their bikes, walking their dogs. People up here in the cafe area. So I might pause it here for a second because it's people and stuff. These trees are gorgeous in the spring or summertime, full of leaves. But now it's winter and it's a bit creepy. If it was dark, it probably would be creepy. And over that brick walls, big field where a lot of people play soccer and play fetch the dogs and everything. Just a nice little stroll though. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going home, seeing my friends, seeing uh, family members I've got left, and uh, and uh, going to go down to Florida, go to the Panama City Beach, and just relax. I'm not planning on doing too much, um, other than just visiting people and relaxing, kind of recharging my batteries. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take you with me. And I'm sure I'll find something interesting to film for you. Oh, speaking of which, actually, my hometown, Opelika, was a filming location for a Sally Field movie called Norma Ray. Filmed in 78, 79, with Bow Bridges in it. There's a few locations still standing that they used. So I might do that, might do a little filming location vlog of my hometown. 
yeah that could be fun anyway um I've got people staring at me <laughs> it's a little town they don't they don't not used to have people with a big camera and microphone attached talking to themselves so uh I don't know what this used to be but it's very cool little alcoves I don't know if it used to be a castle here or something but definitely some really neat ruins I bet I bet the sign will tell us can't lie if you want to pause and have a read the flint arch Someone's lost their hat. Mm. It's just a slight spooky and pretty at the same time. Whatever it used to be. I keep telling myself, Tara, if you're going to be a vlogger, you need to get used to talking to the camera in public with strangers looking at you and not caring. <laughs> One day. One day, we'll see. <laughs> In the meantime, um, I probably look like a right lunatic. <laughs> and I'm probably walking in dog poo in this field. I have uh, a reason to get a new pair of trainers when I get home, maybe. Yeah, probably not. I like my sketchers. This huge, nice, huge field. Look. and bustling with people in the summertime. It was definitely busy with people during the whole 2020 lockdown thing because when you could go outside for exercise, or go outside without a mask, loads of people go out of this park picnicking, playing games, still keeping distanced. It was quite nice. Um, just come out for some fresh air and some exercise and visit with friends because you couldn't do it indoors. And uh, now it's just getting all cold. This is a bit emptier and nicer. I'm gonna head home now. So, yeah, I keep, I'm keep gonna edit this down so bad. <laughs> I'll find a good patch of grass just to kind of wipe my shoes on to make sure I don't get anything in my car. Just in the concrete there, make sure I don't have any dog mess. It's not everyone picks up their dog poo. Anyway, just a little quick one from me. Uh, have a great week and I will see you from Alabama. <laughs>